بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today إن شاء الله I'm gonna discuss uh, mega goal one unit five uh, language uh, in contents let we begin that mega goal one So we want to discuss in Unit 5, page 58 and 59. Let me choose the lesson. This is our lesson today. Language in context. Language in context. We have on the left side six pictures. All of them is talking about injured or something bad happened to you okay let me check the words here up with the with the pictures so number one match the words with the picture then make sentences to describe the pictures we have a girl and a boy have a, a sprained ankle and that one uh, book eyes after that the boy um, he burned his hand and that one he break his nose and the last girl uh, fracture arm let me, uh, let me check about the sentence up sprain ankle number two poke eye number three fracture arm and number four burn hand and five cut finger and number six break nose could you help me please to answer that question let me check the answer a what we can what we can know about the answer or what what is your uh, answer for that question so number one a comes with six with five cut finger a comes with five cut finger and B look at the boy the suitable answer for it is uh, number one sprain ankle sprain ankle and number three or C the boy comes with number two book I poke I and D for the uh, man it comes with number four burn hand burn hand and e it comes with six break nose break nose and the last one girl it comes with three fracture arm fracture arm that's what we're talking about language in context the suitable answer for it is number one with a number two with b three c and so four with d and five with e and the last one with f let me check the answer together she cut her finger he sprained his ankle ankle he poked himself in the eye he burned his hand he broke his nose and the last one she fractured her arm okay we well, let's go back for the previous page okay the second question listening so now we will listen for a discussion. After that, we will try to answer the question belong it. Okay, ready? Okay, let we listen. Most of the accidents involving young children happen in the home. Children are naturally curious. They explore 
and want to find out about things for themselves. If you leave a child out of your sight for a minute, the child will usually get into something. You should try to keep anything dangerous out of the reach of young children. It's very common for children to swallow their parents' pills because the children think the pills are candy. Any sparkling liquid might be confused with soda. The kitchen is a common place for children to have accidents. The stove seems to attract children most of the time. They want to check out what parents are cooking, so they knock over pots and pans and often burn themselves seriously. Electric sockets are another children's favorite. Make sure the sockets in your house are fingerproof. If you live in an apartment building and your building doesn't have window bars, keep all the windows locked in case children want to climb on the window sills and look out. It's even worse if you have a balcony. Some people actually build safety nets to prevent children from falling off balconies. But I think parents' approach to dangerous situations is the most important thing, including things shown on TV. Don't let your child believe that he or she can fly or climb up the side of a 40-story building. Wearing a superhero costume doesn't make anyone a superhero who can fly. If you teach your children how to deal with danger, you will help to keep them out of harm's way. Okay, that is the end for this discussion. Or uh, the child uh, facologist talk about the household dangers for children. He, uh, we hear some things dangerous for children and we should approve it. So now listen to the child uh, facologist talk about the household dangers for children. Mark the items he mentioned, okay? We should m m mark the items what he mentioned when we're hearing it. I will uh, put the answers. So he mentioned pills. After that he mentioned refrigerator and he mentioned doors. What else he mentioned? He mentioned windows. And the last one he mentioned superheroes, okay? Okay. Let we go back for the, our lesson. After that, we have pronunciation. Pronunciation, that things we should do it when we want to pronunciate any word in English language. This section teach you how to pronunciation, how to pronunciate a word. Let we uh, see that uh, steps. So we have some words here. Uh, it ends with some letters and we should hearing it to know how we can pronounce yet that word. For example, we have LF, left, myself, myself. After that, shelf, it's the same sound, shelf. And we have elt, alt, result. So result. After that, we have belt, belt, ain't. For example, in accident, accident, restaurant, restaurant, and we have set. For example, in forest, forest, and forest, forest. After that, we have end, in and, and in sand. Okay, let we hearing how they pronounce it from the uh, speaker. Elf, myself, shelf, bolt, result, belt, and accident, restaurant, st, wrist, first. And, and, sand. Good job. This is the second part for our lesson today. Let we go back for uh, conversation. So the last part for our lesson today is conversation. 
between Samir and Jason. Let we hearing what Samir doing and his friend. Are you ready? So how did you hurt yourself? I fell off my bike. Really? So did I. My motorcycle skidded on a patch of oil on the road, and I crashed into a car. The last thing I remember was flying through the air and hitting the windshield. I woke up in the hospital. Were you wearing a helmet? Yes, luckily I was. That's what probably saved my life. How about you? I was cycling in the park, so I didn't think I'd need a helmet. I don't like wearing helmets. They're uncomfortable and unattractive. This squirrel came out of nowhere. I swerved, lost my balance, and hit a tree. I got off lightly. Only a few bruises and a bump on my head. It was your lucky day. Yeah, that's too bad you broke both legs. You're going to be stuck in that wheelchair for a while, I guess. Look at it this way. If I broke only one leg, there might not be enough room for all my friends to write their names on the cast. Hey, would you like to sign your name? That's the discuss between Samir and his friend. And we have some words that written by blue color. This is an important word. We should uh, know the meaning of it or how we can use it in normal life. So the first one is lucky day. Lucky day here, it means a day of a good fortune. A day of a good fortune. Number two, we have suck, stuck in. Stuck in. We are going to be stuck in. What's the meaning of stuck in? It means caught and unable to move out. Caught and unable to move out. And number three, we have I guess. So the sentence here is that wheelchair for a while, I guess. I guess, what's the meaning for I guess? It means expression to show that we are not totally sure about the statements. If you are not sure about the statements, you can using I guess. The last word is look at it this way. What's the meaning for that word? There is a different way to think about something. There is a different way to think about something. This is the four words or the four sentences that we can use it in uh, a real talk. Okay, let me go back for the next step. So after that, we have uh, some question. We should answer it after any conversation. Let me check the uh, question. So number one, how did Samir hurt himself? How did Samir hurt himself? Number two, why was he lucky? What's the meaning for lucky? Lucky, it means that good things happen to him, make him a lucky man or a lucky boy. So what's the, what's the answer for that question? Why was he lucky? And number three, how did Jason hurt himself? How did Jason hurt himself? And number four, why is uh, he sorry for Samir? Why is he sorry for Samir? And the last one is, what does Samir say about the castes on this legs? What does Samir say about the castes on his legs? Let we check the answer together. So on number one, Samir's motorcycle skated on a patch of oil and it crashed into a car. This is the answer for question one. Number two, why was he lucky? He was lucky because he was wearing a helmet. He was wearing a helmet and it probably saved his life. So because of the helmet, he saved his life. Number three, how did Jason hurt himself? Jason was cycling in the park. A squirrel ran in front of him. So he swerved to avoid it and hit a tree. He go direct to a tree. 
And number four, why is he sorry for Samir? The answer for it is, Jason is sorry for Samir because he's going to be stuck in a wheelchair for a while. Because he's going to be stuck in a wheelchair for a while. And the last one, what does Samir say about the castes on his legs? He says that with two castes, he has enough room for all his friends to write their names on his castes. Okay, so I give one minute for you to write the suitable answer for the question. Okay, begin to write, please. Don't forget the, the tense for the sentence and uh, if it is past or present or uh, past symbol or present symbol. Okay, I think that time is enough for you to write the answers. Let me check if we have more, uh, if we have, sorry, more uh, things. Okay, this is the end for our lesson today. Thank you for sharing and thank you for coming to my class.